back to that dad guy. It's September 24th, 2023. We are beginning the last week of September, if you can believe it. Where did the month go? Anyways, fall is now official. We are uh, starting to see some changes outside with the leaves. And uh, yeah, hopefully <laughs> we have a nice autumn where uh, the temperatures remain still nice during the day, even though it's a little cooler at night. And maybe it'll even be dry for us. That would be wonderful. Today, I'm going to show you the postcards that I have to send. I have uh, seven officials that I can send off. I am only sending six, though. So I am saving one in the uh, event that none of my postcards reach their destinations this week. That will leave me at least one card that I can send off on October 1st for World Postcard Day. If you don't know what World Postcard Day is, well... You can uh, go to postcrossing.com and there is an official postcard that comes out that you can download and you can send off. Or you can be like a bunch of other people, myself included, and have created your own world postcard. Um, I will show you that a little bit later. I'm also going to talk about the number of world postcards that I have to send and we'll get into it. But first, I want to start off with the official cards that I'm going to send this week. Like I said, I can send seven, but I'm sending six this week. Uh, the first one I have is going off to Belgium, and uh, she says she is uh, in the town in the middle of Belgium, not far from Brussels, where you find lots of cyclists every year again, and we shall not forget we have a lot of good tennis players as well. Uh, she loves to see the four grand slams of tennis, so big tennis person. She has two wonderful kids, one boy, one girl, and her son has two children, so he has a couple grandkids. Art is her love, and she lists off all the artists that she enjoys. Um, she visits expositions as much as she can in Venice, Paris, London, Brussels. That's the great thing about being in Europe. You can get to a lot of these amazing cities and uh, museums and theaters and things within a short distance. Um, so I am envious of that, that you can do that. She says she loves dogs, especially Newfoundland dogs. Yay, Newfoundland! A very beautiful and very intelligent dog. Listening to the music of Leonard Cohen, Canadian. Uh, Pink Floyd, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, David Bowie makes me very happy. And of course, reading a good book, always a pleasure. Please write me about your favorite book. She loves maxi cards very much. And for postcrossers from America, she would also like uh, presidents of the U.S. Any card is welcome in his mailbox, in her mailbox. So, so, oh, and she at the bottom, she says, peace on earth. My greatest wish is that the war in Ukraine ends immediately. So that is for all of us. I went through, there was a bunch of different things that I thought about, uh, Newfoundland dogs, whether I had a postcard of that that I thought I might send, uh, Rolling Stones of Beatles, I've got cards for those as well as a Beatles fan, um, but I went with this one, she likes art card, I had this uh, Picasso, and I'm not sure if she's seen this in person or not, but uh, here we go, this is Harlequin on horseback, which was an oil on cardboard that was painted in 1904 by Pablo Picasso. There we go. That is my selection going off to Belgium. The next card I have is going off to Finland. And she says she's 41 years old, lives in Tampere. Uh, she likes going to the gym, walking, cycling, swimming, and in winter do open swimming. I'm not sure if that means she swims in an ice area that's been, um, a blockade of ice has been done, or if she goes someplace indoors to swim. I'm not sure. Uh, music, exercise, culture, nature, animals, travel, spirituality, health. Well-being themes are close to her heart. Uh, the cards could be about your home city, your home country, historical places, humorous, nature, animals, meditation, poems, humorous, and DIY. Surprise me. I'm grateful for all cards. So I've sent this one, or will be sending this one, of uh, Nova Scotia. Just a fishing village. You can see the lobster traps there on it. So we got a bit of nature and uh, a bit of local scenery too. My next selection is going off to Germany, and he lives uh, together with his wife and two children in a village not far from Nuremberg. He likes sports, sometimes watches football on TV, but prefers to do the sports himself. He goes swimming, rides a bike, or plays badminton. Another hobby is to collect colorful postcards from towns or landscapes from all over the world. So I look forward to your postcard with city views of your hometown or famous places, towns, or sites of your country. 
Years ago, I was traveling around the world and my hometown too, so I could get some nice postcards, but now with two kids, it's difficult to stop them from playing and to find common travel destinations unless we go out for ice cream. So they both like it, and they all like ice cream. So I like to receive picture postcards from a random person somewhere in the world. Please just send me colorful pictures, postcards from the place you live to make my day happier. And a short summary, he likes city views, views of your landscape, your country, typical tourist cards. Doesn't really like anything art or advertising cards, but every card is welcome. And so I've chosen this, Hopewell Rocks, our local landmark. You can see it's got a nice sunset going on and you can see the colors of the leaves are changing, which is what was happening now. So why not make it a current postcard? This next card is going off to Illinois in the United States. Uh, he is married with four daughters, uh, ages 20, 18, 15, and 14. He works in Chicago, Illinois, and he lives in the suburbs. No, I'm not going to say exactly where he lives, <laughs> but he lives in the suburbs. Uh, I love to travel, even though I don't get to do it as much as I would like. One of the goals is to visit every national park in the U.S. I have also visited eight countries, if you include East Germany. Uh, another travel goal of mine is to visit each continent, which he has a long way to go. I would love postcards or famous sites from your country or region or town. Before I became responsible and a boring adult, I used to be a freelance photographer. I love postcards of famous works of art, especially photographs. I am a dog guy. I have the best dog in the world, a long-haired dash hound named Barley. Sometimes you wouldn't know about me, but I lived in Hanoi, uh, Hano, Germany for three years, a long, long time ago. I hope to get back there one day and get a curry worst on a long Saturday while shopping downtown. Of course, anything you send would be great. Well, I've gone for art. I did look at some of the other things he said, and I had this postcard for quite some time. If he enjoys art, I thought maybe he would enjoy this one here, which is a statue from Finland. It's one of those ones that you think, should I send something that's Canadian? Um, send something as local but if he says he really likes art and he likes photography and he likes different mediums then why not let's give it a try let's see if he likes it all right this next one is going to the czech republic uh she says she lives with her son in the in um yeah i'm not gonna say where uh also has a dog friend his name is max and he's a french bulldog she is 30 years old and works in a paint shop she goes swimming but also for long walks they love to travel and trips. They like it here in the Czech Republic, but also like to travel around the world. We like to discover new places, especially nature, mountains, sea. And I like to watch good movies, but I also like to read and listen to music like animals, especially cats and dogs. I really like postcards with natural themes, animals, forests, mountains, water areas, but I will appreciate every postcard you send. I'll be happy for the card of the city, the state where you live and where you like. Well, I've gone for this prepaid postcard. She says she likes dogs. Well, these aren't dogs. These are wolves. But uh, we've got a bit of Canadian nature in the background and the snow. And, uh, well, I think it fits the bill for what she says she enjoys. And wolves are some very intelligent creatures. All right. My last official card that's going out this week is going off to Ohio in the United States. And uh, she says, although she's lived in Ohio most of her life she grew up in connecticut her husband and she have two adult children both married one works in washington dc the other is working at walt disney world in orlando florida uh, they've lived in mexico for six years and enjoyed spending time with uh, spending time in nova scotia canada yay maritimes our son studied for a semester in spain during high school and their daughter studied for a semester in rome during high school and then in jordan during college their main hobby is genealogy and she loves tracing ancestors that come from uh, British Isles, Poland, Germany, and Ukraine. Her husband also enjoys hiking and going to films and theater and the wonderful Cleveland Museum of Art. He does vegetable gardening and she does flower gardening. And we love to visit innovative uh, restaurants. Her husband is a great cook, so it takes a very innovative restaurant to top his meals. So some of her favorite cards to receive are hiking and trekking, red pandas, non-US Disney cards, famous women, antique photo cards, unusually shaped postcards, postcards that illustrate historical events like battles, disaster storms, coronations, and so forth. Uh, she likes Christmas, Easter, and other holiday cards at the appropriate time, and birthday cards in August for her. 
cards that match the season, spring flowers during spring, autumn woods during the fall, and so forth. Appreciates every card you sent. If you can't find one that you think matches my favorites, never fear. I just list those to give you an idea, which I think is always a great idea. Um, so I chose this one. Unusually shaped. Well, we got a really long card. Uh, the things that match the season, you can see the trees are just starting to change color, which they are right now. This is Montmorency Falls in Quebec, where I went with the family for a family trip this summer. So I thought that would be great to go there. All right, now let me show you some of the cards that I am picking to go off to uh, family, and, or not family, um, well, it could be family, but friends and direct swaps. And before I do that, if you like this video and you like videos like this, why not subscribe, leave me a positive comment, and uh, like, share with friends. There, there's my spiel. All right, this one here is a Did You Know Armadillo card. Uh, lots of facts. Armadillos are small, uh, small placental animals known for having a leathery armor shell. The word armadillo is Spanish for little armored one. Armadillos are prolific diggers. They use their sharp claws to dig for food such as grubs and dig dens. Armadillos have very poor vision, as most Texan drivers can confirm. Their armored-like skin appears to be the main defense of many armadillos, although most escape predators by fleeing. The underside of the animal is never armored and is simply covered with soft skin and fur. Armadillos have short legs but can move quite quickly and have the ability to remain underwater for as long as six minutes. Well, there, did you know? And then we have Life is Colorful, and you can see that we've got uh, the piano keys that move. It's kind of a nice card. Uh, we're going to send some more long cards out this week, too. So, downtown Montreal. One that is showing the leaves on the ground for fall. And then I'm going to send World Postcard day cards so these are the cards that i made um we've got lots of them going out this week uh, it's my third week sending them out so my polo cards and i had ordered 50 of those cards to send out for world postcard day uh, in around october the first so my cards should be arriving by then and some of them will be mailed uh shortly thereafter okay so that's the plan i ordered 50 but what i didn't realize at the time because i didn't bother to count after sending so many of them i still have this many that i can send so even though i ordered 50 they sent me a hundred cards so with that being said i will continue to send out the cards that i have to friends as i receive their cards going to send them cards in return um i'm also going to send out my cards next week that I can send for officials for World Postcard Day. And if you happen to be from another country and want to swap with me, and you happen to have maybe one of those hug postcards of the mailboxes, I would love to, I think, to try to collect a variety of those countries just to see all the different post boxes that are on there. Um, so that's what I'm opening it up to. If you happen to be from another country and have one of those hug postcards and you want to swap with me, uh, get in contact with me. My address is in the description of the video. I'm also, my Instagram address is there. If you want to reach out to me, you can. Or you can leave me a comment in here and we can swap emails however you want to try to do it. And uh, I'll send out some of my polo cards in exchange for some of your uh, world postcard hug cards. That's what I'm putting out there for right now. I mean, if I get overwhelmed with messages, I'll just have to say, uh, no, I can't send to everybody, but uh, I think I've got an extra 50 that I can send now. So that's quite a few. If I don't send them this year, and they may go out next year. Who knows? Well, that is the task ahead of me, as I always seem to say every Sunday. I've got some writing to do today. Uh, on the health front, yesterday I was feeling a bit poorly. Today I am much better. So whatever the head cold or whatever it was that I had, it seems to have passed. So I'm very happy about that. Now time to get to doing some of the things I needed to do this week uh, or this weekend, which I didn't do yesterday. I sat in front of the television pretty much all day and just relaxed and uh, gave my uh, head a break. And every once in a while you need to do that anyway. So I was happy to do it on a Saturday when I knew I didn't really have much else going on. All right. For now, have a magical week. 
What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?